Uh, what's up guys? Had a request to do a small sweet picking lesson from a fan on Instagram. Wanted to know how I got got them down so cleanly. So I'll just I'm just here to give you all a few pointers. Um, I'll start out as if you've never even attempted a sweet pick before, so alright. Uh, first of all, got A minor pattern, which is twelfth fret on the A string. 5th fret on the A string, 14th fret on the D string, 14th fret on the G string, 13th fret on the B string, 12th fret on the E string, and then you hammer on to the yeah, 17th fret on the E string, pull off, 12th fret, 13th fret, 14th fret, 14th fret, 15th, 12th. So all together, you got... Sorry, I fucked that up a little bit. Simple A minor arpeggio. So, alright. People always want to play fast. Fast, 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 fast. And this is why people get so frustrated with it. And, okay, you see this? You see how clean that is? You know how long it took me to get that far? Like, at least four or five months of doing that for at least three hours a day. So, I mean, if you're not serious about this shit, then just turn the video off now because I'm telling you, you're going to be sitting here for literally hours, if you want to get that fast, literally hours doing this. at that speed and you know because you can't play expect to play something fast if you can't play it slow you know I mean I can play that shit fast as hell clean as hell but that's because I actually took the time to play to a metronome slowly as possible as cleanly as possible before I try to go any faster that's the key to getting everything down you have to practice perfect practice makes perfect you know, so if you practice that and just keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing, you'll eventually get it. But if you're the type of guy that's going to go, man, fuck that. I don't feel like, you know, sitting there and I want to be, I want to be fast. I want to be fast like Herman Lee, Herman Lee, you know, Herman Lee, ah, I should shred Herman Lee, but no, no, then you're just going to sound like shit. No one's going to take you seriously. So literally, if you want to sit there and you know, learn sweet picking, it's going to take a lot of patience. You have to sit there and... For hours. 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 It takes hours of practice. You know, I mean, but, you know, it took me a long time to figure out this one little trick that helps a lot. Uh, if you've seen any of my other tutorials, I got a video about scalpel picking. You should check it out. I'll put a link in the description. But uh, what I do when I go down, when I scrape the strings, I I don't really move my entire arm, if you, if you catch what I'm saying. I kind of just push the pick downwards in a scraping motion, like a scooping motion, with my fingers, see, I'll play it slow, like watch how my, watch how my thumb and my index finger, you know, extend as I'm doing this, so I need to get you a better angle, let's see, that's a good angle. And of course, that's not the only way to play. You can always just, you know, do the opposite and just go straight up and down. I suck it that way. I'm, that was sloppy as so, hell. But, but the thing is, uh, 
when you do that, when you do it that way, like I just taught you, it's easier to bring it back up, you know what I mean? Like, because if you're going down, you got all that momentum and your arm's already going that way, you have to bring it back up. But if you're just pushing down, it's kind of like a circular motion where you just push down and then bring it around and back up. And that way you can skip the bottom string when you come back up. You just jump right over it because you're not supposed to hit that string anyway because it's you just hammer on to that and pull off and then you start heading back upwards. Alright, and another thing, if you got two strings on the same fret in a row like that, the 12, 15, 14, 14, the f okay, those two 14s, you don't want to you don't want to just hit 12, 15 and then bar onto the 14. You know what I mean? You want to have the tip of your finger on that 14th on the D and then you're going to want to roll your finger as you're going down. So it's not instead of it's Think of your hand as going in a motion like this, and your right hand going in a motion like this. It's a sweeping motion, like it's kind of like you're sweeping the floor, but don't get frustrated with it. It takes a lot, a lot, a lot of practice. Trust me, I've given up on it hundreds of times, and one day it kind of just clicked. And honestly, sweeps are so boring, so overplayed, unless you're going to sit there and use them musically. You know, I mean, who wants to sit there and listen to... I mean, sure, it's flashy, but come on, bro. Like, anybody can do that with, like, you know, a little bit of time on their hands. If you want to, like, make something out of it and apply it to your, you know, compositions, you want to, you know, you want to play some stuff like, uh... Here, let me get my clean tone going here. You know, you can give it a little bit of vibe, you know, like. You know, don't just sit there and. It's so whack, dude. Don't do that. But, uh. Let's see, I'm trying to think if I forget anything else. Um, oh yeah, right hand, very important. As you're going down the strings, you're going to want to mute the strings because there's going to be unnecessary strings ringing that you don't want ringing. And your, sleeps are, your sweeps are going to sound terribly sloppy if you don't control that. It's going to sound like... And that was my palm without being on the bridge, and, you know, obviously when I palm mute, it sounds a lot cleaner. And, uh, let's see. Hmm. Is there anything else I should cover? I could show y'all another pattern. Um, how about a G major pattern? Alright, you know A minor, 12, 15, 14, 14, 13, 12, 17, you know, got that. A minor, G major now. G major starts on the 10th fret on the A string, and it is hammered on to the 14th fret of the A string. So, and then, this is going to be a harder part. Remember how I told you you have to roll your fingers and not bar them? Roll. Yeah, well, you got 10, 14, and then the next three strings down are all 12. So it gets kind of tricky right here because you can't just bar that 12. It's not going to sound like a sweep. It's going to sound like a chord. So you have to go 12, roll, 12. You see what I mean? You have to roll down it as you're going. And... That also means you have to roll up as you're going back up. You can't just slap your finger on that. You know, you can't you can't just be like... You have to hit every note with the pick 
and your finger at the same time. You have to fret every note and pick every note at the same time. And by that I mean your finger cannot touch the string unless it's about to get picked. Therefore, making it an arpeggio, not a chord. So, got A minor, G major, A minor again, and then I'm guessing, I'm not too good with music theory, but I'm guessing this is B minor, you just move it up a whole step, I guess, just A minor, G major, A minor, B minor, and then if y'all want, if y'all are interested in the tutorials, I uh, have a lot more techniques to show you. I, do, I can do some crazy tapping stuff, hybrid picking. Um, I mean, I could teach you whatever, man. If you like my lessons, just, I guess, subscribe and leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Criticism's always welcome. You know? Alright. Thanks for watching, guys.